Njërës të dashurësisht dhe jonë ka ju tha në studio, sot është një nga evenimentet më të rëndësishme për se përket zhvillimit të start-upeve këtu në Shqipëri, sepse ka tashmë më mbështetin e ambasadës angleze, edhe me gjera fjale unë dhe intervjisoj dhe ambasadorin. Sa frikë. Ndërko, do të bëjmë dhe një gjiro për të parë se cilat janë emrat kërësorë që janë pjesë të këti programi. Shoj! Let's just start with the first questions. I mean, I'm a bit excited because it's like the first time I interview an ambassador. You seem like a cool guy, so let's go with it. Uh, the first uh, question is uh, how this, did this whole thing start? So it's based on a, a model which, which uh, started in Israel in uh, 2011, and we called the UK Israeli Tech Hub. Mm -hmm. uh, and the idea is to be able to work uh, to promote uh, to promote tech companies mm -hmm. uh, in that stage in Italy in, in Israel rather and this time in Albania. Okay, and what is uh, the the role of the embassy? What what does this whole thing gives to the participants from the embassy? So the UK Albania Tech Hub, in the same way as the UK Israel Tech Hub, is run out of the embassy, mm -hmm. uh, and what we're doing is looking at how we can give tech hubs that kind of the, the, the tech companies that opportunity to be able to make a success uh, so it's about how do we give them the things they need how do we give them the knowledge they need how can we help them to build contacts how can we give them the skills they need to be a successful company in the future uh, how do you see the actual environment of uh, entrepreneurship or startups here in Albania though so for a start it's got a lot of good things so it's got a, a really good energized youthful population it's also got a whole lot of people a whole lot of brilliant ideas mm. Um, the difficulties are around, uh, it hasn't got the infrastructure there, it doesn't have any of the kind of ecosystems that, that uh, companies benefit from in the UK or in Israel, for example. Mm -hmm. So part of it's about building that, uh, and part of it's about working with the government to make the framework better. And in the end, to sum it up, how is it going to be like the future of this thing? I mean, these lucky guys, these lucky teams, they got their chance. Is there going to be like a next session, like next year or in the future years? So the easy answer to that answer that is yes, there is going to be another session. Um, we started with uh, what was just a small pilot. Um, we're going to run something a little bit bigger. Um, we'll announce it in the summer and we'll be looking for applicants in the summer. Uh, and we're then looking at what else we might be able to do. Uh, so that will include working with uh, established uh, partners who have already gone through the program and making a little bit more uh, of them and helping them a bit further. Um, but again, really about finding all the entrepreneurs that are out there and what we'll be looking for in the summer is for them to come to us uh, and apply for this course. Uh, and we took 23, we had 23 applicants last year. Uh, it'd be great if we could have five times that number this year. Uh, and if we get good companies, then we will take them through the program and the very best will go to the UK for intensive assistance there as well. So there's quite a lot to gain from it. Well, I can only see success in this thing, so I wish all the best of luck and thank you for everything you're doing here.